okay we can start now as we usually start uh, with our chanting metta sutta i would like to invite you all to join in with us to chant metta sutta may all beings be happy and secure may all, may all beings, beings have happy minds whatever living beings there may be without exception weak or strong long large medium short subtle or gross visible or invisible living near or far born or not let no one deceive another nor despise anyone anywhere neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another as a mother wishes for her life to protect her only child even so towards all living beings one should cultivate a boundless heart one should cultivate for all the world a heart of boundless loving friendliness thou alone and all around unobstructed walking or sitting lying down or never wake one should develop this mindfulness this is called divinely dwelling here not falling into erroneous views but virtuous and endowed with vision removing desire from sensual pleasures one comes never again to birth in the womb sadhu 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 <clears throat> now having a comfortable seat relax yourself mentally and physically to relax take a deep and long breath and let it go slowly again take a deep and long breath let it go slowly be relax your mind is relaxing also your body it's very relaxed peaceful happy nothing holding in your mind no worries no troubles no matters come to this moment this moment is the moment happiest peaceful moment enjoy this relaxation enjoy in this relaxation you can move your mind head to toes through your body moving mind head to toes generate loving friendliness thoughts toward to yourself may i be well happy and peaceful may i be well happy and peaceful may i be well happy and peaceful try to get that peace happy feeling through your mind you're not supposed to just memorize these words get these feelings and enjoy with these feelings happy peaceful
then we can share this happiness with others. As I am, my family members, friends, relatives, and neighbors be well, happy, and peaceful. As I am, my family members, friends, relatives, and neighbors be well, happy, and peaceful. As I am, my family members, friends, relatives, and neighbors be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this gal in galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings 
ones on this continent may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on this continent may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on this continent may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings in this country may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings in this country may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on this con in this country may they be well happy and peaceful my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful May I be well, happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. Being in this metta development, let's focus to practice mindfulness of breathing meditation. We're going to pay full attention to our breath, inhalation and exhalation. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Compatibly breathe in, compatibly breathe out. When you are breathing, Your mind and the body will relax. When you are breathed out, your mind and body relaxing. Enjoy this relaxation. You feel your whole body is relaxing. Breathe in, breathe out. Watch your natural breath. When you are watching your breath, you feel where air is touching when you are breathing, when you are breathed out might be end of your nostril or upper lips. Also you feel your lungs are filling with breath. Rising and pouring in nature in your abdominal area. Notice clearly these places and select a place Keep there your mind and watch your breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Be aware whether it is short breath or long breath. Sometimes we inhale short breath, we inhale long breath. We exhale short breath. We exhale long breath. Be aware whether it is short breath or long breath.
Your breath is very clear to you. Breathing in, breathing out. All activities regarding your breath is very clear and very familiar to you now. Breathing in, breathing out. Try to focus on your breath, the starting point of your breath, changing of your breath and departing of your breath. Your breath is very important for your life. You can recognize through your breath you are alive, but your breath is not me, it's not mine, it's not myself. Your breath is impermanent. It's changing and changing, changing and changing. In this manner you can see nature of your breath Take your time and practice. Whenever you notice mind, it has out of your object come back and start again. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, watch your natural breath. You're not supposed to breathe in, in or breathe in out intentionally. Just watch your natural breath. Breathe in, breathe in out, breathe in, in, breathe in out.
दुखापता निदुखा भाया पता निभाया शोका पता निशोका हंतु सबे पी पानिनो मे द सफर इन बी फ्री फ्रॉम सफर इन मे द पियर स्ट्रक बी फ्री फ्रॉम फियर मे द ग्रीव इन बी फ्री फ्रॉम ग्रीव सो टू मे ऑल बींस बी साधु 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 थैंक यू वी कैन स्टार्ट अवर क्यू सेशन first question pre birth consciousness come into a body womb without anything else so does it exist alone at that point when the body is is dies does consciousness continue to exist so that it can be re recontinued as a component of mentality and materiality o dhamma uh, according to uh, sutta in madhyamanikaya sutta number 38 uh, mahatanna sankhe sutta Mahatanna Sankhya Sutta explain how the process process of the birth how we start our life what we have now this is the way how it's explain in Mahatanna Sankhya Sutta monks the descent of embryo occurs with the union of three things union of three things there is the case where there is no union of the mother and father the mother is not in her season and a gandab is not present no is the descent of embryo there is the case where there is a union of the mother and father and the mother is in her season but a gandab is not present no is there is a de- descent of an embryo but when there is a union of the mother and father the mother is in her season and gandab is present then with this union of three things the descent of the embryos occurs these three things are very important to get a birth to get a alive being to start a alive being first thing first two things belongs to create a uh, physical formation to create physical body the third uh, third one is the mental repress uh, representing mental formation when mental formation and physical formation get together that is the time we can see a live being then we ready to say a being is they are now what is the first thing first thing is mother and father union of mother and father it's completely physical and the second thing is mother is in her season this is the second thing to start a life mother should be in 
season and then with the help of these two factors there is opportunity to start a physical formation but still that not complete to complete that physical formation there should be a connection with mental formation with the, with that connection then we can see a, a live being so physical body then we can see physical body starting before mental connection before get their mental connection I think according to biology we can explain it in this way um, when embryo is started um, I think that time we can't say as embryo but but in modern world with that uh, biology they use that word embryo embryo will start with the help of these two fact but when the time the embryo start to function the heart rate that is the time uh, when mental formation connect into that uh, physical body physical formation we have some stories regarding that according to the buddha's life story Buddha, the Buddha's mother, Mahaprajapati Gautami, get pregnant when she was observing uh, eight precepts, Uposatha. When she was absorb, uh, when she was uh, observing that eight precepts here, uh, that is the time she got. Uh, uh, she consume I mean she get to know she is consumed to have Siddhartha Prince Siddhartha until the, I mean the particularly as we know if they observe precepts eight precepts then there is no opportunity to have sexual relationship then how, when she was observing eight precepts, uh, she got opportunity to uh, uh, be, be, be pregnant because already that moment had the physical formation, uh, already had that embryo. What happened, that physical formation connected with the mental formation this is my assume this is not in sutta but we can realize in this way physical formation will start first and then mental formation will connect with that physical formation with the connection of this physical formation and mental formation then we can see a live being this is the way how we can recognize how what is the process of this alive beings? Alive beings process, this is the way how it's starting. So, then the heartbeat uh, is the most important part of that, uh, that living beings. We, when they start to function their heart, that is the time where they recognize, oh, the embryo, alive then uh, the, that embryo is ready to grow ready to grow that is the very important part heart heart beat is the most important part that heart beat is the time I assume when uh, that is the time mental formation connect with that physical formation according to this sutta connecting these three things as a result of this combination we can see a live being if there is any chance to miss any of these facts there is no way to get a birth a live being 
So uh, this is the uh, question. This is the way how we can explain it. And there is a particular things in this question. When the body sees, dies, does consciousness continue to exist? so that it can be reconstituted as a component of mentality and materiality to Dharma. Nothing exists anything. There is, a, there is only process. That process we not should, we not should take as uh, existent things. It is just a process. That process uh, is continuously going on. The process is continuous, continuous. Uh, departing from physical body, physical formation, the nature of that mental formation is ready to connect with another physical form. That is the nature of our uh, ment uh, uh, men mental formation. Physical po body will remain but mental formation is not remaining like that. It's ready to move into another state. It is happening. But no one can say same mind or mentality move into another physical formation or materiality. No, no one can say that. Both things had changed itself. Mentality and materiality both had changed. So, uh, there is nothing exist. Okay. This is universal truth. Therefore, this is, it is, belongs to the part uh, Dharma. Dharma in Dharma means nature. Okay. I think that's enough for that question. I would like to quote again. I would like to suggest to read Mahatanna Sankhya Sutta in Majjhimini Okay. Second question. Some 40 years ago, I witnessed my mom suffering in a pain due to terminal cancer. Uh, disappeared. I stood in front of uh, Bodhisattva Kuan Yin image and prayed to relieve her from suffering. She passed away in the morning that, that very day. Here is the question, have I done an evil deed? Does the Buddha's teachings touch on talking on own life, own life if suffering is uh, unbearable. No. That's the direct answer for this question. You didn't uh, you didn't participate for any kind of evil actions there. What you did, you just pray. Actually, not pray. Uh, as a Buddhist follower, we don't pray. We do chanting. You just chant it there. Uh, no one can say because of your chant, power of using, um, because of your chant, she passed away. No one can say. Because she, as you mentioned there, already she was in very critical condition with pain and other situations with, the, with her sicknesses. So, already she, ha she had a problem there. She was, uh, she was in a uh, very critical condition. So, what you did, you had a very compassionate mind that time. That's why you start to chant. During that chant, yes, you had the thoughts, okay, my mother, recover or get rid this suffering. You had that thoughts. That thought not connecting with uh, connecting with unwholesome thoughts that is not that thoughts not arose because of your anger 
it's not the reason for your uh, desire it's not the reason for your any other defilements that thought arose in your mind because of you had loving friendliness thoughts toward to your mother compassionate thoughts toward to your mother so that's why you had that thoughts oh she is i mean may she be get rid this suffering you had a thought about your mother not to have that supper you didn't made wishes to die you thought not to suffer not to die not to suffer these two different things therefore you didn't you didn't want to have that kind of mentality or oh, whether i did some wrong things for my mother at that at that moment no you don't need to you don't want to worry about that you had clearly we can see you have you 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 had compassionate thoughts and also loving friendliness thoughts you just chanted chanting mean you recite some stanza you you might recite at you know, some stanza stanza which is explain the qualities of the buddha nothing else you just chanted stanzas which explain buddha's qualities dhamma qualities or sangha's qualities that's it there is no any harmful wishes all wishes that you made there pull with compassion pull with loving friendliness you don't want to worry about uh so far today we have only two questions i think yeah we don't have any other question that's it uh what is in here what is in here uh um, i think that's a question but uh they wanted to know the uh maji manakaya no, the, the number before that is there a question pre but con- pre-birth consciousness from the prior life joins a consciousness in the present life mm-hmm. but the prior consciousness is a product of ignorance and volitional formations mm-hmm. i agree all conditioned things are constantly changing mm-hmm. yeah and uh, we can i mean generally we can use that word uh, pre-birth consciousness from the pr- prior life join a consciousness in the present uh, it seem a few i mean literally when you use in this word uh, pre birth and present life uh, then you might think a same thing moving again and again same things occurring again and again i mean look like same thing but not look like it's already it has changed itself changing and changing changing and changing it's ready to move forward uh that this is the way how we have to understand it uh consciousness is a production of uh, uh uh consciousness is a production of ignorance and vernal formation i agree conditions things are continuously change yes it's continuously changing is there another question hmm. dear bante in the last sentence of metta sutta uh-huh. it is mentioned not being born again in the womb uh-huh. does that mean the attainment of anagami magafala or arahanta mm-hmm. because anagami or deva also doesn't get reborn in the womb mm-hmm. if arahanta from metta meditation how to become okay in last instance in karaniya metta sutta not fallen into erroneous views but virtues send out with visions removing desire for sensual pleasures one comes never again 
to birth in the womb. Particularly in this Metta Sutta, Loving Prayerness Discourse, based on uh, to explain how, the, which way is the way that we should develop our Metta thoughts. Uh, the point, uh, the, the maximum level that we can develop our metta as a mother would risk on life to protect her child. This is the maximum level. Each and everyone, they can break all the boundaries, break in all the boundaries they can come to that level. This is the maximum level of metta. And then as a development of this metta, they can achieve some uh, 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 some jhanic powers also. There is opportunity developing this metta. But that's not enough to end this sansaric journey, to attain extreme entries. It's not enough. That's why particularly in here mentioned in, in this uh, last instance I is mentioning not falling into erroneous views but virtuous and endured with the vision virtuous and endured with the vision removing desire of, for sensual pleasure removing desire is mean you ready to eliminate all the defilements eliminating defilements then eliminating defilements you can enjoy with uh, you can end up with uh, sotapan sakadagami anagami arahat then you don't have birth birth mean in here uh, uh, particularly in mention in the womb but if you remove desire from sensual uh, uh, sensual pleasures you don't have any kind of birth but developing your metta uh, just you remove sensual pleasure uh, in certain degrees not complete then you might have opportunity to attain sotapanna and sakadagami and anagami if you attain sakadagami anagami these extreme entries yes as you mentioned then you have opportunity to take a place in brahma world suddha vasa brahma world particularly uh, suddha vasa brahma world is the place that they can get birth but in here p words very important removing desire removing desire mean that directly we can attain enlightenment that attaining enlightenment mean might be sotapanna sakadagami or anagami in this manner yes we can take these things as yes we can uh, end sansaric journey or we can have uh, birth in suddhavasa brahma worlds that that is the meaning Okay, do we have any other question? Um, could you please distinguish between prayer and passing merits? Okay. Uh, prayer, prayers always asking something and uh, prayers can ask to super, uh, through prayers we, what we do, we ask from superpower or unseen being to protect ourselves and protect someone else. These are the prayers. But sharing merits mean we develop our insight, we develop our happiness, we develop our spirituality, developing our happiness, developing our spirituality, happiness means merits, eh? developing our happiness then we ready to share that happiness with others it's like like this now you all might use cell phones through your cell phone you can see someone 
who live in who is living in far away someone uh, in uh, us they can connect with someone living in singapore sri lanka or malaysia or any other countries using any kind of apps whatever the apps we have in the phone and then you can talk with them you can see them Where, what is whatever happening there you can uh, you can join with that activities they are join with through your mind to for those activities then how build up this connection what is what is the behind thing hidden thing in this activity in these activities behind thing is we what, what we call generally signals waves this is the connection signals or waves are the connections to help co to connect with that the, their activities and here who who is here in in this place even now you all are living in different different places you can hear me you can see me what is the connection connection is these waves and listening to my talks practicing metta with me and practicing mindfulness of breathing meditation with me you have opportunity to develop your insight you have opportunity to develop your spirituality you have develop, you have opportunity to develop your happiness and we all gather together then we all maintain in metta towards toward to others we can generate positive energy and then we ready to spread this positive energy through with uh, our powerful mind powerful mind mean concentrated mind concentrated mind you have pawn in here and there 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 is another pawn these two pawns are connecting through the waves same as uh, here is a person and there are other living beings uh, they all can connect through their signals their waves our mind have power to create positive energy positive waves and that the, those waves will connect with others who has thoughts to get that connection enjoy that connection this is the way how we can how we share merits with others particularly with the departed one if with departed one uh, willing to get support from alive uh, or previous their previous relatives or friends or family members and same time those family members and friends have metta thoughts to give something to help them and then between these two uh, consciousness there is a connections that their thoughts thoughts become waves then they can enjoy each other particularly who are willing to get support who are willing to give that support this is the way how we can bridge these two uh, places and develop in our mental uh, connections we can share merits with departed one this is the way otherwise we are not asking from the buddha or anyone to protect them because buddha not that kind of person buddha already passed away the buddha passed away 2600 years ago therefore there is no reason to ask from uh, him any supports any protections for them uh, we accumulate in our positive energy then we ready to spread that positive energy toward to them connecting with that positive energy they ready to enjoy it this is the basic way that we can give uh, we can explain how what is the process of sharing merits so I, i think uh, that's enough for today we can end our session for today uh, i would like to encourage you to 
join in with us every and each days morning talks and evening talks also to ask questions you can write us uh, through our emails uh, thank you very much now it is time to share merits with others uh, during this time period we got opportunity to develop our metta uh, develop our concentration and doing so we accumulate we accumulated merits by the power of all these merits who departed name of us as a as a relatives friends family members or as a pets who lived with you may they rejoice rejoice these merits rejoice in these merits may they have happy and peaceful life having that aspiration we can say sadhu 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 all over the world particularly these days who are suffering because of uh, corona viruses or any other situation any other reasons by the power of these merits may they all be well happy and peaceful may they recover may they recover from their sicknesses from their uh, unhappy feelings from their unhappy situations and painful painful situations may they have peaceful happy situation having that aspiration we can make good wishes for all living being who are suffering from sicknesses and all other difficulties having that aspiration we can say sadhu 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 deities who protect this world and the sasana may they rejoice these merits rejoice in these merits uh, may they develop their uh, may they uh, have peaceful happy uh, life with them and having that aspiration we can share mit- merits with the uh, deities Uh, uh also they rejoice in these merits may they develop in their happiness uh, may they make good and happy wishes for all living beings having that aspiration we can say sadhu 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 you all be well happy and peaceful whatever the wishes you have all your wishes come true by the power of these merits uh, finally we may may we all be able to attain bliss of nibbana having that aspiration you all can share merits with merits uh, saying sadhu sadhu by means of this meritorious deeds may i never join with the foolish may i join always with the wise until the time i attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the highest realms of existence to the lowest may all beings arisen in the with the form or without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much good night to west have a wonderful day to east